All right, I hope you're ready for your crash course on setting up Canva. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from our marketing launch pad that has all of our applications in one place. If you don't have a marketing launch pad, you can go to webeducationservices.com slash demo, and that'll get you into our launch pad demo. If you ever want a one-to-one -one demo, you can click on schedule a demo in the upper right-hand corner. So we're gonna skip over writing and writing a post. Uh, you can look at one of our other videos to learn how to use Answer the Public and Copy AI. We're getting into creating our image and our video, and we're gonna start with uh, Canva here. So if you're new to Canva, you won't have any designs down here uh, in the lower part, and that's what we wanna do is we wanna set up some awesome templates for you. We wanna go set up uh, three different types and two templates in each type. So don't worry if you don't know what that is, we're about to walk you all through it. So when you hit your, uh, your homepage here, you're gonna click on the presentation 16 by nine. If it's not in here, you can type presentation 16 by nine in the upper search and find it. I'm gonna click here. It's gonna give me lots of different options, but I wanna start with one of the preset templates and I'm gonna get there by typing news. And this will give you the best layouts for posting and blogs and kind of all of those things. Uh, you're gonna avoid anything with a crown because that's gonna be the paid version unless you want, like, really like the design and want to get the paid version. All right, I'm gonna select uh, this one. So we've got a good one here. I'm gonna click back on home. And you can see it's in my recent designs here. At any point I can duplicate this and start to design from scratch. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna get a whole bunch of those uh, templates uh, in here. So I'm gonna to go to presentation again. I'm gonna type in news. And I'm gonna choose a different one here. Um, and actually I like uh, this. So uh, I'm gonna add that in there and that'll be another one of our, uh, one of our templates. I'm gonna go back to home. And we're gonna do Facebook posts now. Again, if you don't see Facebook posts, you can always click in the search bar and search for Facebook post. Uh, type in news. And I like, uh, actually this is another round one that kind of goes with some of the other stuff that we've been doing. And again, kind of just keeping it within that roundish uh, theme here. And I'm gonna hit home. And Facebook post again. and type in news. And I'll select this one over here, this looks good as well. All right, so now we have four templates that we can kind of use and work from. I'm gonna hit home one more time. And now I wanna do Instagram, and you can see Instagram's kind of showing off up over here on the end here for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Search news again. Here. Click on home. Click on Instagram again. Type in news. Actually, I like this one as well. All right, so now we have our templates ready to go. So down, now down here, I can start from any of these templates and be able to get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick one and I'm gonna go and make a copy. I'm gonna click on the copy and now I can start to name it. So I'm gonna click up in the name and call this blog post one, just as a placeholder. You'll put your title of your blog post in there that you did in the previous steps. Uh, and now I can start to configure. So I will delete out you know, that uh, piece of it in there. I can go to my photos. If I wanna switch out this photo, I can go ahead and search for happy people. All right, um, I've got this nice family. Again, I'm sticking away from any of those pros posts. I can click and drag it over top and you can see when I click and drag it over top, it switches out the photo. I can change this to the title and type in anything that I want here. I can add my brand name here for calls to action. And my 
tag and my handle. If for some reason it goes in a little bit long, I can drag this and make it uh, longer. And I can just move this stuff around by clicking and dragging. this however I want and drag to move it around and play with it um, but that part of it is really going to be up to you once you have this post ready to go you can change it to your brand colors by changing the colors so for us we are blue and we are gold and if you want to get into your actual specific hex colors for your color you can click on the add a new color and type in your codes to really, really keep it on brand and put everything together for you. And then finally, you can actually upload your logos. I'm just going to use Canvas logo for now uh, because that's what I've got in here. Or actually, I do have Web Education Services in my demo account. I'm going to delete out the Canva one. Right. And we can kind of see how we bring this all together. Again, I can kind of click and drag and, and move things around if I want, however I want, make it a little bit cleaner or revise however I see fit and make everything kind of uh, fit in the way that it should. All right, when, once you're done with your design, you can click on share in the upper right hand corner and download and I can download the image. And now I have it all ready to go. So there you go, you've got all your templates squared away and you can just keep copying and pasting them and uh, really kind of managing great graphics and content that looks like it was done for, you know, by a graphic professional uh, quickly and easily. If you need any help setting up your Canva account or managing any of your marketing apps, um, that's what we're here to do. We'll support you in any way that we can. Just reach out to us. You know where to find us.